the way I want to be like the perfect version of myself for my birthday every year. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they were like, we'd have to wait until after the 20th. And I was like, what? Well, I'm going to have a fake tooth you don't on my birthday. what the 20th means to me. <laughs> they were like the 24th. And I was like, can I really have a fake tooth on my birthday? <laughs> Well, welcome back. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well. We well. know what you're thinking. We are wearing the same outfit. <laughs> it wasn't. It's because we're oh, recording two episodes. That's so true. I forget sometimes that people are going to watch. watch this. Yep, we're recording back to back episodes for you all. Because we want to make we're sure we're back and better than ever. getting the content. Yeah, we're back and better than ever. Precisely. It was my fault that we couldn't <laughs> record last night. Yeah, he's just so. busy, so whatever. He's all busy and such. <laughs> yeah. But that's fine. So we, this episode, are going to talk maybe more about our actual personal... Well, I have an embarrassing story to share. Yeah. So I think we both had a little bit of a rough holiday. <laughs> there yeah. were moments that were rough. Yeah. Holiday mm-hmm. break. And I'm ready to tell my story. <laughs> yeah. Lucy does have a bit more of a bombshell. Sorry, Zeke, you're going to hear it again. (laughs) I should, I'll open with, to show you what what happened to my, where I spent Christmas Eve. In the ER. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot this. Yeah, duh. I spent Christmas Eve in the ER. Not for me. Yeah. For my father. (laughs) For my dad. (laughs) For my dad. So, long story short, because I think you have some, a good story to share. Um, My dad is a silly guy (laughs) he's so silly he if you don't know he is a pastor so Mm -hmm. and christmas eve in the church it's a big day yeah christmas eve one of the arguably (laughs) one of the biggest days and easter are like the super bowl for yeah for churches churches. so christmas eve service is a big deal yeah a lot of people tend to come because they're like with their families it's Mm -hmm. kind of like like nice very elegant um, very candle lit, like formal, formal, <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a very nice kind of, yeah, formal thing. Yeah. So my dad, we have three, <laughs> I think services. Yeah. This is the middle one. Yes. Um, in, in his sermon, he's doing this little number dance number yeah. to like Christmas songs, getting you know, the crowd into it, really getting the crowd hyped up. He, this is who he is. Um, he's doing this little <laughs> dance. And he, and one of the moves is he like high kicks. And we didn't know this at the time, but during that high kick, he ruptured his Achilles tendon. (laughs) So that's like the back of your ankle where, yeah, that like hard spot gone, (laughs) just gone. So when you step on that, it like feels like it's like gushy, like nothing's there. So he high kicks and then steps down. And doesn't it feels like nothing's there, so he like stumbles forward into like this row of candles, <laughs> like lit candles, and then falls off the stage into the audience, <laughs> and everyone screams. So chaotic, um, but of course he's like, "Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine." He gets back, crawls back on stage, and he's not fine. <laughs> like he's still preaching, but like he's like a he moves a lot when he preaches, and he's not moving. So yeah. like. All of us there are like, oh, he's like hurt. And so I luckily, I mean, I was at that service. So luckily mm-hmm. I go back, back there, like right when he's done. And I'm like, I'm like, what happened? Like, did you fall on? Like, I didn't know if he fell and landed on his ankle and like broke a bone or something. Or like he's had knee issues. I'm like, what happened? He's like, I think it's my Achilles. So I felt it gone, gone. <laughs> Achilles was gone. So we took him to the ER. And but. After he <laughs> preached yet again oh my another gosh. service. He, yeah. So he ha- that was the middle one. He had one more. And he, he, he did preached, it. He preached. If you know anything about my dad, that is so him. He is FOMO. <laughs> Very bad FOMO. But um, he he pulled it through. And he has to get surgery. So <laughs> it's a bummer. It sucks. <laughs> it's a bit of a bummer. But I have never spent a holiday in an ER now you have. Now I have. I can cross that off the list. Bingo. 
they weren't really helpful there, but I <laughs> did show the. I showed everybody the. I have a video of it. I was like, hey. Do you want to see the video? And the doctor like watched it, and then he's like, "Can I get the sound on that?" <laughs> can you actually turn that up for me? Can you can you actually cast that can in you, the office? And then he went out and told all the nurses, and the nurses came in. We were all just. <laughs> <laughs> was your dad so, laughing too? Um, a little bit. I think by that time he was <laughs> a bit of pain, <laughs> so they gave him like a. a some pain medicine and stuff but um yeah it was a bit of a downer but it's like the worst literally the worst time of the year to like get injured because like insurance is yeah. weird and like offices are closed so like christmas day we couldn't get it we couldn't do yeah, anything that so makes sense. that's why i was like i think we should go to the er tonight as opposed to any other day oh, so smart but it didn't i just it didn't really do it much yeah but anyways that's that crazy. was yeah, a little bit chaotic, but yeah. What happened <sighs> during your break? Yeah. Okay. So I had a great jolly old Christmas <laughs> in Idaho. Oh yes, and then Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls. Cold. It was cold. <laughs> How was cold? About, it was. How I cold? I don't remember. <laughs> Did it snow? Did you have a white Christmas? Um, it snowed a little bit, so okay. there was snow on the ground, but it was nice. not like a flurry white Christmas like I okay. normally want. Mm-hmm. And ask for. But that's all right. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Really nowhere snowed. So it was really cute because we went to Sun Valley where Wyatt, my brother, lives. And he was showing us all around his little town. It was really cute. Oh, it was yeah. sweet. And so that it's was like really a ski, fun. Mm-hmm. Kind of a it's ski like a town. ski town. Like really, really small community. Yeah. Um, nice. There were like people coming up. Yeah. And saying like, Wyatt's the best. We love Wyatt. <laughs> so it was just really precious. Um and then I got to hang out with my nephew, who's literally the cutest. So love Charlie. Mm-hmm. Love that kid. But um, I was doing so well. And then I was feeling really good about 2024. And I was like, this is going to be the best. I'm going to make this a great yeah. time. And also <laughs> January my is my birth month. <laughs> and I'm the worst with my birthday. I love my birthday so much. So this month is all about me, and whenever things don't go my way this month, I get irritated. Yeah. I'm like, it's literally my birthday. <laughs> Why my is this birthday. happening to me? This is my birthday. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I just say that pretty much the entire month of yeah. January. Um, so I had, I think, the week from hell. and <laughs> This is first week of January. This is? The first week of the year. It starts December 29th. Oh, my identity, like, got stolen, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so casually. Yeah. So, there's, like, another person out that there. Was, <laughs> that was a lot. Um, a place <laughs> I used to work at got, like, hacked. So somebody got my social, my banking number, my routing number, everything. Took some hundreds of dollars from me. Personally, I'd also like to add, I don't really have that to be given away. Wait, they took your – they got your social? Yeah. Why are we not concerned about that? I don't know. That's on. That's a Lord in a prayer right there. That is me praying. Oh. Nothing happens with my social. Anyway, I didn't can't know think about, about that. that can't think about that part now. So they took about four hundred, five hundred dollars from me, and I saw it. It was on pending charge in my checking account, and I was like, this "Do you is... wait, wait, wait? Do you know what they bought? No, it was oh. like four. It was like Dang just ninety five dollars charges, and I was like, okay." So I was like, I'm just going to go to the bank. I'm going to do it and just get it done. I don't want to deal with this. So I go in. The cutest banker ever helps me. You're and like, he's is like, it turning around hey. for me? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do you want to just like cancel the card and get a new card? Or we can do account conversion and we take everything and convert it to a brand new account with a new bank number and everything. And yes. I was like, well, meaning that. That, it all that got one. hacked. <laughs> the ladder. I think I should probably just change it all and start from really ground zero. And he was like, okay. And then he was like, what, 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 and chatted me up. We were talking. We talked about Idaho. We talked about Swedish villages. We talked about so many things. Um, Interesting that Swedish villages has made the list in every story. Yeah. <laughs> in every version of the story. I think it struck a chord with me. Because <laughs> I, too, desperately want to go to a Swedish village. Oh, okay. So it was to on go for Christmas. both of I'm your like, wish lists. Yeah. Because they were still playing Christmas music, and I was like, oh. it's over. 
And then he called me a Grinch. But anyway, I know. I was like, I do. I hate. I'm, Christmas is done after the 25th. I'm a big, like, proponent. We need to end it. I like 26, 27. No. The day after Christmas is still a holiday to me. Okay. I respect that. But anyway, sorry to get off track. <laughs> cute banker. So, cute banker. Helping you out. Helps me convert my account. And because it's a Friday and it's before a holiday weekend, he said, just so you know, you're not going to likely be able to do literally anything for the next, probably until Tuesday because it's a holiday weekend and it takes a few days to, like, get everything transferred over. And I was like, great. Love that. Whatever. So... Oh, Asia's parents' money for like New Year's stuff like this because I'm like I can't pay for anything and I have no way of helping. I have no, I, I have no, means, have no money. No means. I'm just a girl with no <laughs> nothing, girl. with no name, no title, anything. I don't have, what's that? Um, I don't have <laughs> Fred Armisen clip. He's I'm like, just a baby. <laughs> I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I'm just a girl. <laughs> just so a baby. That's my holiday weekend goes great. So then it's. The yeah. second, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bank, get my little new cards, and I get my two new cards, my debit and my credit card, see the cute banker, and I'm like, yes, great. We chat more, it's awesome. He it does give me his business card, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm never gonna step foot in that place again, so why not? Why not just shoot here we go? My shot. So I write him a real profesh email, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I would actually really love to get a coffee with you sometime and talk more about blah, 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 blah. And I was like, here's Sweden. my number. Sweden. <laughs> here's my number. Um, also, if the bank is looking at this, you really did a great job at your job, <laughs> and I appreciate all your help. And then I was like, from Lucy. And I was like, huh, threw my phone. I was like, I don't need to see <laughs> any response. So that was my Tuesday. Crickets, I'll say that too, by the way. <laughs> Didn't hear anything. That's totally fine. I was like, oh. I was bold. That's great. Yeah. Cool. So then Wednesday morning comes, and I have to get a crown on this tooth, as I mentioned earlier. And let's just say $500 out of pocket. Ugh. I also had to do that this past year. It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm double insured. Insurance only covers 1600 of the $2,000 procedure. So I'm like, uh-huh. So... Also, on my way there, I go over a speed bump, and I hear metal grind, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I don't, I've never heard that sound from my car before, and I'm like, but it's an $85 fee if I don't go to the dentist, and I'm no. not paying that, Yeah. and so I'm like, going to go to the dentist, and ignorance is bliss, yeah. I don't know, so I get on the highway going 65, <laughs> um, pull up to my little <laughs> dentist office about 20, 25 minutes later. I get out, look at my tire, flat, flat, flattest tire I've ever seen actually in my life. <laughs> it's starting to turn outward. <laughs> oh, I can't believe your car wasn't like pulling like so dramatically. And maybe if it was, I was like, so it's true. not. <laughs> That's your true. I would have done the I'm same like, thing. I'm like, I don't think it I is. <laughs> I'm like, mm. <laughs> so super flat tire. I get the procedure done, fork over my card to pay for the stupid crowd. Mm. Tell my dentist, first thing out of my mouth when I speak to my dentist is my car has a flat tire <laughs> he's like did you replace it i said no it's just i'm sitting out i'm there. literally <laughs> sitting in your chair what what do you mean yeah so then i drive the mile to discount tires because i called my mom and my mom was like you do have triple a and i'm like look i'm not waiting an hour for triple a i have to when work today o- only a mile yeah i'm like i'm just gonna drive I probably it. Would, yeah i probably would have done this and I go, I park the car really crappily at the discount tires, and I go, and I'm like, I have a flat. And the guy is like, I don't know how you made it here. This is literally about to burst. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. The Lord was watching. I out. made it. Thank God. I was here on a prayer, folks. <laughs> so um, $450 later, have to get two uh, brand new tires. <sighs> Devastating. And so uh, tires. I surely thought, you know, <laughs> This is the worst it can get for me. Like, it can only be better. This is rock bottom. This is rock bottom. <laughs> I've gotten rejected. I've gotten my identity stolen. I had to pay. F- I had to get a new tooth. <laughs> because also, I'd like to, uh, might I add, this is the third crown I've gotten on this tooth. This Oh, the same, the same tooth? tooth? Because what the heck? My dentist in Idaho messed up twice. So this is the third time I've paid for this. What if you could sue? Well. My parents paid for the first two. I paid for this one. Um, a new tooth, and I had to buy two new tires, all within the first three days of the new year. So 
<laughs> That's Wednesday. And I'm like, okay, this has to be done. I can only go up. <laughs> so I go into work on Thursday. Literally what I told you. <laughs> Literally so many people told me. They were like, Lucy, this is so sad. Like, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> just think, it can only get better. And I'm like, look, I'm laughing about it. It's yeah. comical. It's funny. So then I go into work on Thursday. I'm on my way home. I'm like, my tire light comes on. And I'm like, you've got to be yeah. kidding Like me. it wasn't on and then it came on? Yeah, because I turned it off. I, I knew how to reset my tires. So oh. I was like, I want to make sure it's on. I don't know how to do that. Tire. My back tire flat. The same one? Yeah. So like the new one in the one same of my spot? New ones. It was my driver one instead of my passenger oh, okay. one. But still. Huh. One of the new ones I replaced. So I do call my dad. <laughs> And I haven't cried yet. I have been really good, and I have not <laughs> cried yet. And knowing me, I would have cried. Like, anybody who knows me ever yeah. knows I'm in tears about cried. cars. I finally do call my dad, and I think it's – um he's, like, on vacation. And I'm like, Dad, my car, it's flat again. <laughs> and he's like, well, where are you? I said, I'm driving it. <laughs> and he's like, Lucy, you can't be driving it. I'm like, Dad, I got to go to Discount Tire. I'm driving it. And he's like, how flat is it? I'm like, I don't know. It's flat. I'm driving. <laughs> he was like, can you pull over to see? And I'm like, dad, I'm in a bad part of town. I can't pull over. I'm not pulling over. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to drive the two or three miles to discount tire. And I'm just going to pray again. So I did make it to discount tires. Two hours later, I had to wait there for two hours. Oh, my God. They were like, looks like the people didn't clean your wheel enough yesterday. And so they fixed it for free. But still, I was like, okay like the hassle the nerve yeah, of, of me going. All, getting another flat tire a day apart so then i was like okay this is this is rock this is rock <laughs> this bottom is... psych <laughs> just kidding friday i finally my bank account has started working so it's been a week of no bank account yeah. those two big purchases i'm throwing on a credit card because i'm like i don't know and so then my bank account finally starts working and i go to pay I tithe just to my little church. Just to my lovely church. Decline. My card declines. I call him out. I'm like, call my bank. <laughs> call my bank. And I'm like, hey, the cards aren't working. What do I do? And they were like, we have no idea what those cards are. They were like, we, they just printed you cards for fun. Those have no meaning behind them. They're not registered to anything. And I'm like, are you telling me I have to go back, back to the bank where I sent a banker? An email asking him out on a date, and I have to face him. Wait, knowing he, full well he never responded, and he gave you bad bank cards. And he gave me bad bank cards. So first, I was also like, he did not do a good job. No. I wish I could. I redact this I redact email. That statement. <laughs> but the whole email. I was like, over my dead body, am I going to show my face to yeah. that guy? I wouldn't. So I went an extra like twenty five minutes out of my way <laughs> to a different brand. I'm so glad they had other locations. Uh -huh, and they printed me my right cards, and I got well, it all fixed. What the heck cards did he print you? Not a clue. That's so literally weird. not the foggiest idea. Huh? No, no idea. <laughs> Do you want to know something even crazier? Yes. I was able to pay rent on that card. Oh, whose money? I bring Does it you. still not come out of your account? <laughs> Lucy, the H and M shoes, and now the rent. <laughs> so I'm like You're a criminal. I'm, I'm like waiting for the money to get to, taken out. That's so weird. I know, but I'm like I have no understanding of how it like went through successfully. Yeah. For my rent, but then not. That's anything so else. Weird. Yeah. So. I'm just waiting. I'm not spending that money out of fear. It's going to be like yeah. a month late and it's just going to take yeah, my like rent money from so me. so long to process or something. So weird. But anyway, oh, geez. I had, I think, you know, I can still laugh about it. So it's good. But it's like comically bad. And it happened in my birthday. <laughs> oh, I my know. birthday. <laughs> At least it's in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and once, once yeah, we get hope. closer. So... If all of you who had seen my Instagram and were like, oh, I'm sick of hearing this Lucy's down story. I didn't even include the banker in my Instagram. So yeah. you got an extra. That's just like the vulnerability cherry, part cherry right on there. top. Yeah. So Why wouldn't he respond? You might as well shoot your shot. And if you ever think you're going to have to face that person again, you might. <laughs> then you might have to go through. <laughs> strange circumstances to assure that doesn't have to happen that is yeah that's like so classic cringy when you have to like see uh, someone that you <laughs> don't 
don't want to see. It's almost as though it's like <laughs> if you left your number on like a receipt for a waitress, but then you left your wallet at the at the restaurant and you have to like go back in mm-hmm. after they've like seen it. Mm-hmm. Like it's just secondhand embarrassment really for yourself at that point. Yeah. But hey, I was bold. You were. I'm okay. Bold this I am year so already. proud. Like the email was well written. It was, it was funny. funny. She was so bold. I'm like, that's the kind of energy we need in 2024. To bring <laughs> to 2024. It, yeah. Don't let that set and the precedent. Fine. No. Keep going with it. Thanks. I'm just gonna send email after email to all. Email. <laughs> I could I could be bold in an email. I could be bold in an email. Can I be bold in person? No. no. <laughs> I can send uh-uh. an email. I can do email. Yeah. Can I do it over text? No. <laughs> email is the only form of communication. Email. I can be my most authentic self. Oh, that'd be so, funny to give someone. Yeah. So I think for our next episode, we want We're doing you guys a write to in. write in. We're doing a write in. Shooting your shot. Yeah. Like to a random stranger. Yeah. Did you ask if the waitress? If they're successful, good for you. And I guess we'll. St- I'd still like to hear them. But no, I resent you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Because it doesn't work out for all, the all, most for of us. Sub. But that's fine. It was one a time, jolly good time. I had a friend, very lovely, dear friend. She's so nice, and she <laughs> was trying to be so kind. She was like, I, I like really think like you and this person. Like, would hit it off. Like, I don't, I never, I didn't, like, I knew who, who he was, but we, like, don't see each other. So I was like, I mean, what's the harm? She was like, I'm going to send him a message via some social media yeah. and whatever. Would you be okay with that? And I'm like, honestly, at this point, whatever. She sent the message, crickets, crickets go by. And I'm like, to this day, I'm like, I don't know if he read it, saw it. No, I don't know. Yeah. And I have seen him in passing a few times. And I, but a couple weeks later, I was like, um, <laughs> girl. Please go back, delete the message. I just can't have that hanging over my head. Like, just delete it. Please delete any record of it. So she did. But I don't That's know. Nice. I don't know if he read it or not. Ignorance is bliss. I'm just going to pretend that he didn't, and we have no connection. I think he just got fired from the bank that day, and he doesn't have access to his email account yeah. anymore. Yeah. That is he could what not check I'm his thinking. email. <laughs> and we don't we don't need to come up with reasons why. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go there. Ignorance is bliss. He never <laughs> even saw it. He never saw it. He's still thinking, oh, that girl from the bank. That girl was, was so really cute. cool. <laughs> Worked at a nuclear lab. <laughs> that's all we need. And that's yeah. good with me. I'm fine. But I just think it was it, it was pretty funny. I was yeah. like, I'm I can admit it's yeah. a funny story. It is. So. It's a good story. It's a good story of how the year started. And really, I do think it can only go up. Man, I hope so. <laughs> I've said that before. Yeah, yeah. It's like the... It's kind of a yeah bad thing to say. Knock down seven times, I'll stand up eight. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never heard that what? in my life. It's just like I'm never giving up. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, I guess. We'll add that on the list of... Keep swinging, missing. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep climbing that hill. Yeah. These are all like plaques at There's Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Keep climbing. It's like when you think the hike is over. And it's not. You get to the top of the one hill and then you see there's a whole oh, other hill. I know. I'm going to be doing, we're going to be doing a little bit of hiking this year. Yeah, me and Asia are, it's not necessarily, I've also made a personal bingo sheet. (laughs) I had a lot of time, I guess. (laughs) I was feeling so, so good about this year. Um, I made a personal bingo sheet where I was like, oh, like, if I can get five things that I want to do and get done, like, I'll get bingo. So then it's like, if I don't succeed at my goals. What happens when you get bingo? Do you celebrate? I feel good. Oh, good. <laughs> but that way, if I don't complete some of my New Year's goals, I don't feel as bad. <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm completely batting a zero. Yeah. So me and Asia want to hike the Grand Canyon this year, maybe. Rim to rim. Rim to rim. Rim to rim. You go from the top down, down to the bottom, bottom and back, back up. up the other side. Yep. It's 23 miles. <sighs> We're supposed to do it in a day. Yeah. We'll see. That's why that one's on the bingo card. I'm not. No, we're not. I'm gonna for do sure it. Do, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna for sure do it because I need. I need. I need something. I need like, like a 
something, something to, to work, work towards. towards. Yeah. And if I I'm this way, like if I have if something's like, oh, I might do it, I won't do it. Yeah. So I have to like when I did my half marathon, I I did I made it sure it was not refundable. That makes sense. Because I was like, I will back out. Yeah. So I'm like, I have to do it. So I'm not a big hiker, so I do hate hiking. I know. <laughs> I complain the whole time. I'm not very fun to I hike know, with so either. I am. <laughs> But I think I'm glad. I hope you do it because I. <laughs> I'll do it. We gotta get that bingo card. It feels out. like that would be a really big accomplishment. Yeah. To say. Yeah. I'm just not gonna be fun. I won't really I'm either. I'm miserable. Yeah. I complain the whole time. But if but I think at the end we can re. Yeah. yeah. Can I just figure think, it. I just think <laughs> I'm not. It's like one of probably the worst versions of myself is hiking. This is gonna be really good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll help me grow maybe. But the whole time I'm just like, this is the worst. This is, yeah. This is the worst. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. The, the last whole big time. hike I did, I studied abroad in South Africa and they have this mountain called Table Mountain and it's huge and we hiked it and <laughs> it was the worst. Me and my best friend were also fighting that day, so mm, we didn't that <laughs> worse. When you're hiking and you're angry, it doesn't it didn't I, go well. I don't think I've hiked in <laughs> quite some time now because I literally despise it. Just kidding. I hiked this summer when I went into Colorado and we oh, thought there were yeah. ticks on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. We're going to do it. Yeah, we'll do we're it. We're going to do it. We'll do it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Imagine. I hiked the Grand Canyon. I did. Rim to rim. Yeah. Also, on there is go somewhere new. <laughs> Could be broad, could be a restaurant, could be a <laughs> It's so vague. Just be anywhere so new. So that's kind of a free place. <laughs> yes. Is that the middle space? Yeah. <laughs> Just anywhere new. <laughs> so it'll be great. That's a but good one. do we want to end with our weekly reports? Yeah. 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 You can go All first. righty. <laughs> Lucy's weekly report. All right, what am I reading right now? All right, everybody, I started it. I did it. I am reading A Court of Thorn and Roses. Nice. Round of applause. So, thus far, I'm on the first book. I like Tamlin. I'm confused why people okay. change their minds. Okay. I won't say anything. Apparently, the guy in the second book is the real charmer. I won't say anything. But I really like Tamlin thus far. Yeah. It was funny. When I was reading it, it's I texted. It's a sweet romance. Yeah. yeah. I texted Melissa in Asia, and I was like, yo, I have a feeling <laughs> she should just like fall in love with him. It's like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. I was Hasn't like, she what read if it Beauty all just what if it all just <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wouldn't that be like crazy? Isn't I was like, this is like really similar to Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah. And Melissa was like, it's a modern retelling of Beauty yeah. and the Beast. And I was like, oh. She told me that before I started reading and uh, it it helped. Cause it, I think before mm. I would have been like Okay, and? I was like, this is literally Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. What a knockoff. I was like, I guess. <laughs> what a knockoff. <laughs> One beef I really have with the book, though, is, first of all, if she's the youngest sister, why is she taking care of everybody oh else? Oh, my God. It infuriates that me. That irritates the crap out of me. And also, I her dis- sisters are so They're mean. so For lame. Literally what? Her sisters are the worst. And I'm just like, God. The, and they- can you... To be honest, they don't get better. No, and I'm like, they're begging her for money. I'm like, how Ugh. embarrassing. You're you know. begging your youngest sister for money. No. Grow up. So I was I, just really irritated by that. They're like the two characters that I, like never, like every a character at, at one point you kind of like, like, don't like, whatever. Yeah. Con- continuous hate. I just don't like, like them um, at all. All right. What I'm eating. Um, I don't really think I am eating anything. <laughs> just anything. <laughs> Like, eating, it's out. It's out. <laughs> <laughs> um, or at least if I am, it's just like changing every day. I'm not like hooked on anything right now. Okay. So we're just like vibing. I'm actually just eating the scraps, trying to avoid <laughs> grocery shopping. Yeah. Um, playing. I've been walking. I'm just walking. I'm that. a walker walker now. Ugh, Walkie my walk. favorite. Um, obsessed with. This is a little light for the word obsessed for what I'm normally super obsessed with. Okay. So I'm just into it right now and mm-hmm. I'm just starting. So we'll see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Oh. Yeah. 
I really like it thus far. Interesting. And I'm mainly watching it because they just had their season four finale. Okay. And it's all over my TikTok. I think I've seen. And so I'm like, I have to, I have to watch is it. That it's like one, Vanderpump. Almost. Is that the one where there's like a girl on the beach and Receipt. she's. Yeah. 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 Time she like lines. calls them all. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to know yeah. everything from starting with day okay, one. Okay. You watch it. And if it's that good, let me okay, know. Okay. I will. And. I'll get it. That's why I really like it. But I think it's because I'm also from Idaho. And uh-huh. so these women are like living in Salt Lake. And it's just like so Idaho. Like Salt Lake and I- like Idaho Falls are just like so the same. They're similar. And so like they're just talking about like Mormonism. And like the one lady's like, yeah, like the state of Utah, because it's like all Mormons, like we can't actually get really drinks at like restaurants. Like they water them down. Because oh. it's, like, legislation in Utah. Oh, my gosh. Like, doesn't allow it. Or they can never have two drinks at, on the table at one time for the same person. What? It's, like, against And they the monitor law. that? Yeah. And then, like, the liquor That's stores weird. are, like, very strict mm-hmm. hours. Um, always closed on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, like, hard. So I was, like, this is so interesting. So I'm just, like, into that side of it, too. Um, and then there's, like, one of the housewives... Her and her husband are Mormon, but they own a tequila company. But they don't drink their product. And so I think it's just, like, super interesting. And it's just, like, you similar think they don't? to where I grow up, grew up. Um, <laughs> so they said they didn't. Mm. I don't know. Um, what I'm recommending is this Summer Fridays. Oh, I really like it. It's nice. grown on me so much. Nice. I love this lip balm. I have the vanilla and i'm a big okay. fan of it um and can then, you buy that at sephora or do you have to order yeah you can online? buy it okay on, at sephora i hate when stuff is only online yeah it it's is so irritating annoying. i agree no i bought it yeah for black friday and it's taken like a month but i've really liked it nice yeah treating i'm actually not um i'm not treating myself to anything at all <laughs> she's gonna forgo this that's one. it that's really i am strictly not allowed to yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> I've oh, I'll barred that. myself from yeah. that. Especially because I basically treated you... myself to the thousand dollars of a crown in a Did you get tires. anything like for Christmas that's like a treat? Yes. Lori, bless bless my mother's sweetheart, mm-hmm. has been knitting that Harry Styles cardigan for me. Yeah, she finished it. For the last three years and she finished it and gave it to me on Christmas and I Did you screamed. cry? I didn't cry. But wow. I screamed. And I tried it on, and I love it so much, and it's so beautiful, and it's one of the best things I've ever received. Is it comfy? Yes, I love it. Oh, I amazing. love that cardigan. So that's a good treat. I'll wear it one of these episodes. Yeah. Because it looks, it looks good. It looks good. Like I'll it's, say it. It's nice work. I'll say it. It's good. So it looks good. That was, that was probably my favorite. Nice. Yeah. I also got a really cool puzzle my sister made, so I was What is it of? Uh, it's binge watching, and it's like oh, a bunch cool. of TV shows. Oh, fun. There's like... Certain puzzles, that's the thing. I like buying puzzles that are collages because it's almost like all these little mini puzzles within one puzzle. So, like, this one is, like, binge watching, so it's all TV shows. So, like, Game of Thrones is on it, How I Met Your Mother, Mm -hmm. Seinfeld, Mm -hmm. Parks and Rec. Um, I think Peaky Blinders is on it. Um, Orange is the New Black. Like, a bunch of TV shows. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just, like, hee, hee, hee. I, like, love doing it and being, like, what TV show is that? I love that. I would like that one. Yeah. Are you caught up on Game of Thrones? I finished it. You did, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I just... I wish I was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. My brother... Excited for House um, of Dragon. Yes, my brother told me there's going to be a Peaky Blinders movie. He did tell you that. I'm so excited. excited. Killian Murphy, Killian. baby. I love him. Ah, he looks so good. He looks so good. Oh, that's good. good. I love it. Yeah. So, it's my no-buy month, except for my birthday. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Good, good. Keep going with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, my reading. So I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I took so long to read a 250 page book. Did you finish? I finished. Where'd it go? Like January 1st. And then I was like, I need a palate cleanser. Like I need. Okay. I needed something. Like I read like this quick kind of like psychological thriller mystery okay. in like three days oh wow kick-started back get after and it. now i'm reading um i've been wanting to read the last book in lucy scores oh yeah it's like the things out. we 
something. Things left. we never got over, things mm-hmm. we left behind. That one, yeah. So it's the third one. So it's like, it's all, they're all kind of the same, like. Just. Um, like it's three. I know all the characters, but all of the love stories are like enemies to lovers. Like all of them hate mm. each other and then they don't. I'm like. I'm loving. I do loving. like it, but I'm like, I just am like for all three. That is gonna, weird. We're going to do that. That's a weird choice. Yeah. Especially as the same author when it's all in one town. It's all in one town. And they're they're all, all friends. Yeah, I'm just like, we're all going to do this. We're all going to do the like, same bit. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm a little irritated at that because I'm like, we couldn't ha- think of like something else to do. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I needed to, I need to take a fantasy break for a minute. So I have the last, the fifth book of your series to finish. But I need, yeah, I need a little break. <laughs> a little break so um, eating. I am hooked on something. I'm hooked on, I got hooked on them in Boston from Hannah and Jilly. It's the plant, but I've been, so I first I got the plantain chips, the plain ones. Then I got the jerk, the jerk, the jerk ones. Styles are pretty good. Those are so good. They're so spicy to me. They are spicy, but I'm, shocked I'm spicy like, I'm like getting better. I'm like, they're I'm so like, oh, they're so good. They're so really I. Good. Have just been loading up on the bag because it's kind of a small bag. They are. <laughs> it's a small bag, and I'm like, I'm eating a lot of this yeah. in one sitting. Yeah. Or I've been like taking it on my walks. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, man. Because it's been cold here, it so been. it has warms me up a little bit. Playing, I feel like I'm not really doing. It. I'm like walking. Mm-hmm. I feel like I say that every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like. I need that in my life. I put Christmas down the other day, and it feels nice. That's, yeah, not really other activities. Um, Obsessed with? I don't know. (laughs) I don't really have anything. I, like, I'm not really obsessing over anything. That's okay. So we're going to skip that one. Skip it. Recommending um, a couple months. I think months ago, I got the you probably if you're a girl you've probably seen the ad for like the sheer text tights. Yes. On they have like, the ad is like they have like scissors mm-hmm. and so I'm like, is this really gonna be a thing? Because tights are a nightmare to wear. Yeah. A nightmare. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. I like my tights like pretty sheer, so I was mm-hmm. like, Ugh. they're not as sheer as I would like, but I've worn them I think three times, four times maybe. Not a rip, not a that is snag. Really nice. I wore one pair this past week. The f- for the first day, three runs tears. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. It's the worst. So I'm like, I spent twelve dollars on. I'm these like, this two. is literally a waste. I wore the, yeah. these for six hours, and there's, they're all ripped up. Yeah. So the sheer text I've been impressed with. Okay. So. Maybe I'll buy some. Yeah. Treating. I'm not. Yeah. I mean, I got the tight. I haven't really. I did get a new phone. I mean, that's a big one. That, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a couple years. Yeah. Um, I did down like I had the plus size for a while, and I downsized to the regular, and I like it. Nice. It, like fits in your hand better. It does. I think it's the same as mine. Mine's the thirteen, but I yeah, think it's the normal color. Yeah, so it's just like the regular. Whatever the newest size is. 15. 15? I don't know. Okay. But nice. That's it. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> well, this is our second episode of the day. <laughs> so and we're going to go. Year. <laughs> and end of the year. And you will find us back here. Oh, so for the next one. Reading your stories. We'll, we'll post like a link. Thing, a link to yeah. write in. Write in like. Shooting your shot. Shooting your shot. Taking a leap of faith. <laughs> yeah. Kind of to like a, just a stranger. Yeah. And if it worked, did it work? Yeah. Did it work? What could have worked better maybe yeah. for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you had a better start to your year than I did. So yeah. see you later. <laughs> see you later.